I must be hitting somebody. Next time you get down and pray, and you begin to ask God, forgive me. Remember those that you haven't forgiven. And then maybe you'll think, oh me, I better deal with this. I better tell them I'm sorry. I better tell them forgive me. And devil's telling me, maybe your flesh, I hate to give him too much credit, maybe your flesh said, you didn't do nothing. They was one wrong. You wasn't the one that was wrong. Who cares? Why does it matter? Why does it matter so much, Sister Vani, that we were the one that we liked? Amen. If it's going to make things right between us and them and us and God, who cares? Why go back and rehash it over and over? I'm preaching to myself this morning. Amen. God, forgive me. Help me to forgive others. Because He said, if you can't forgive me and their trespasses, neither can your heavenly Father forgive you your trespasses. Why? Because it blocks your relationship and your communication with God. We beg for forgiveness. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Yeah, but we won't share it with nobody else. Won't forgive anybody else. Let's let our light shine before men so that they will see the actions of your Father through you. I know that most of the time when we tell kids that, we don't mean it in a good way. Usually whenever John is acting up, I'm sure Sister Vicky says, you just like your daddy. You act just like your daddy, but it probably ain't because he's doing something good. <laughs> probably because he's doing something bad. Oh, I would today that somebody would say it in a good way about us. You know, you act just like your daddy. I expected you to act different toward me because of all of the problems that we've had. But when I came and you had love toward me, amen, my goodness, love and forgiveness are a powerful thing. Powerful. Do more good probably for most than most any of the preaching they'll ever hear. Because if we can show them that love, then they might want to know what you got to say. Think about it. If we can show them that love and compassion and forgiveness, Brother Sleece, then maybe, then maybe they'll break bread with us. But if all they ever hear is our condemnation spirit, our judgmental attitudes, our hypocrisy, our grumbling and our complaining, why in the world would they even want to come to our church and hear what the preacher's got to say? Ain't doing you no good. It ain't going to do me no good. I ain't going to go. Amen? Think about that. Next time you get out there on the street, Somebody bumps your vehicle or you're in the Walmart line and they're taking too long. Or you get on the telephone and they put you on hold about 15 times for 30 minutes. Think about who your daddy is. And think about showing them the kind of love, patience, and compassion that God shows you because i got news for you. You ain't the most lovable person in the world. Amen? I know because I ain't. And we're both created the same way. But God loves us anyway. You ain't the most forgetting forgivable person in the world, but God forgives us anyway. We should do the same for others. Amen. Hallelujah. Let our light shine before men. Then I know who our daddy is. Hallelujah. Somebody this morning have something else before we go.